What's up, dude? Good timing. I think we should just go knock out the Popeyes. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Sit. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we're headed back to revisit the spicy Popeye's chicken sandwich. It's all the rage on social medias and the news. Let's see if it's still the rage on the number six with cheeses. You ready? Oh, yeah. He's ready. This land was made for you and me. Father, can I help you? Hi, can I have two of the uh, spicy chicken sandwiches, please? How many? Two, please. Just the sandwich or the meal? Just the sandwich, please. Too spicy or classic? Uh, two spicy chicken sandwiches, please. Anything else? Nope, that'll be it. I'm really impressed with when they brought it back. It's still only $3.99. I went back and watched our old video, and we were like so dumbfounded that it was only $4. And I thought when they brought it back, they'll do the classic like, oh, it'll be six bucks. What the hell is this guy but it's, doing, bro? But it's $3.99. Look like I'm going skiing. What am I doing? Skis, huh? The yours? Yeah. <sighs> cool. Thank you, thank, thank you. you. They're back. Two spicy chicken sandwiches from Popeyes. They're back, baby. Acquired jump cut. Oh, exciting day in the world of fast food. Yeah, dude. <laughs> it's a good way to start off the day. Yeah. We loved it when we first had it. We tried to recreate it from their little promo they did. Didn't work. So let's go into <laughs> it. Here's our BYOB DIY version. Cheers. Cheers. The chicken is definitely the best part of this. <laughs> the, my favorite comment on that video was just, this is probably gonna have to bleep out, but it just says lots. Oh, I love that That one. was my favorite That was a really comment. heartfelt one. Yeah. All right, Corey Wagner, second angle, baby. All right, let's see what we got. Pulling it out. Got a little nappies. Uh, I like these little pouches that they yeah, come in. It's like little too. sandwich pouches. Let's open it. They got that oh, aluminum foil lining. Yeah, it's brilliant, it's brilliant. And, uh, ooh, I like this little holder that they got with it too. Bun looks great. This is a good looking bun. Um, when I lift it off, you're seeing a little bit of the sauce on there. Yeah, spicy the, mayo. That, uh, that crispiness that Popeyes just always has with their um, chicken is also suited for the chicken sandwich as well. And then underneath, a little bit more sauce and then their pickles, which are pretty unique, large, giant looking pickles. Yeah, I like that they do sauce top and bottom. Me too, I It shows that. that you care, it shows that you understand that the sandwich eating experience is an experience. Yep. It's not gonna be just a potato, it's gonna be an experience. You can do mild, you can do spicy, they're the same price, whatever your preference is. The chicken itself is not spicy, it's the mayo. Ah, interesting. Chicken, chicken, chicken. All right, it's back. Let's see if it's as good as we remember. We called it the best. I have the best chicken sandwich on the market, one bite in. Cheers. Cheers. Oh, wow. It's okay. mm -hmm. It's so damn thick. Like, well, <laughs> look at this freaking... I tried to take that first bite. Holy smokes, bro. That's no joke. It was so good. It's so good, it's so big. But I really just don't feel like I actually got a bite on that first one. It's so <laughs> huge. Uh huh. Which is abnormal for fast food chickens usually, which yeah. is great. Mm -mm 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 -mm. They're normally anorexic skinny. Mm -hmm. wow. I'd love to see the steroids are pumping into these chickens. Oh <laughs> Man, I don't, because man, will that be a bummer to see. These little chickens walking out with a big chest. <laughs> you guys, have you seen, I mean, just that just looks so good. Mm -hmm. We were telling, so you probably saw our video yesterday was the mm. big cock chicken sandwich. I told Mike Marcellos, this is the only fried chicken sandwich I've ever had from a fast food place that honestly looks and tastes like it's not from a fast food restaurant. Yeah, this you know is what unbelievable. I mean? If you served me this at like a good diner, diner, like a fried chicken spot, like a good one, like a honey butter fried chicken or something like that, I'd be like, yeah. Yeah, I'd is, expect that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'll tell you one way you can tell it's good. I keep the pickles. That's a Corey Wagner thing. They normally come off. I, they usually come off, but I just inherently trust Popeyes. Me too. Where I say, okay, you put pickles on there, that means yeah. they deserve to be there. That means I deserve to eat it that way. I agree. It's honestly even better than I remembered. I'm so glad you think that I, I do too. Mm, 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 mm. Mm. There's not a breading like this. Mm -mm. They figured something else out. Yeah, I don't know what they did, but they did something. The spicy it mayonnaise is so good. The bun, I think brioche is just my favorite. I gotta put it down on my finish it. I just decided today that I'm gonna eat the whole damn thing. You are? Yeah, I don't even care. Okay. I'll just, I'm gonna go to the gym again. In that case, I'm taking another bite. Mm. I waited too long for this thing to come back. I'm doing it. That is so damn good. We got other videos to film today. You think I care? I'm just gonna gain weight. Mm hmm. That is, it's not even close. The number two best fried chicken sandwich in fast food is like, it's like comparing a brand new, like the newest Porsche that just came out, mm -hmm. like brand new 2020 Porsche, to a Hyundai Elantra. Mm. 
Hyundai Elantra gets you around. Yeah, it'll, it'll do, do the, the job. job. You'll it'll get from A job. to B. Somebody might say, hey, we really like these new updates in this, these Hyundais. But it's not a Porsche. Gosh darn. Whoa, is it true that if you date someone long enough, you become them? People say when you date long enough, you start to look alike. Those, that's just the same person twice. Oh my God. One man and one woman, the same person. Both have the same hat that uh, people <laughs> on the Deadliest Catch wear. Yeah, it, but they're also wearing it the same way. Like they a little too have, high up. Like jackets with hoodies underneath them. And I think she's shaved headed and so is he. Man, you really see a lot of things. You see a lot of things. All you gotta do is keep your eyes open, guys. All right, before we rate the sandwich. Podcast shout out, podcast shout out, podcast shout out. Oh, yeah, yeah. You guys, this Monday, our brand new podcast went live. Very, very funny. Very, very funny. Always. Me, always. Corey Wagner and our good friend, comedian Zach Orion, sit down every week, go over our lives, and talk about being comics and content creators. And then we answer questions that you guys submit to us that you need advice on. Some say the three brightest minds on this planet. Some do say that. There have been some. Yeah. All right, guys, this next one is from Scott from Medford, Oregon. I recently fooled around with a woman that works in my office. There are only 12 of us at the company, and we all went out for after work drinks, and she and I stayed out till 2 a.m. Mm. just talking about work and then our personal lives. And then as I went to hug her goodbye as the bar was clo closing, she started rubbing my dick outline on my jeans outside Whoa. of the bar. So we walked back Wait, to did she just grab you by your dick? Uh, Theunemployablespod.com if you want to check out the merch and kind of what goes on. You can, that's like the hub of everything. You can listen to stuff there. Um, check it out. It's also linked below to support the podcast. You know we're across all mediums, baby. Yeah, we got dude. audio. We got video. We're in your hearts. We're in your minds. We're in your eyes. So go check it out for that podcast, The Unemployables. We don't have regular jobs, and we'll tell you why. <laughs> all right. You ready to rate this? You better believe it. I don't want it to end. I know, dude. Because I think this is going to win it. Despite not even playing in the league. Out of five... NFL MVP trophies. How many NFL MVP trophies to give the spicy Popeye's chicken sandwich re-released here in November 2019, Corey Wagner? Man, that chicken was steroided up like no chicken I've seen before in my life. It was a beast. The crunchiness was amazing. The flavor was exquisite. That spicy mayo was delicious and the addition of pickles was perfect. That, my friends, that ladies and gentlemen, was a five. Yep, such a no brainer such a no-brainer. It's Like I said, it, I might have gotten even better than the last time I had it. Take the trophy away from Patrick Mahomes. Say, Patrick, hold on. This goes to Mr. Number 5 out of 5 because that thing was perfect. I mean, they give me their all every single day, and this is an award for all of us. Thank you all. Guys, that was a 5 out of 5. That's 10 out of 10. That chicken sandwich is just as good as we remember. Thank you so much for watching today. Let us know in the comments below if you've had it. What you think of it? Is it overhyped? It is, is it as good as people say? Is it average? Let us know. We'll read those comments. And we'll see you guys tomorrow for a brand new video on this channel. Because tomorrow's Friday and the weekend starts. Let's do it. This right here is one of me and Corey's favorite coffee shops. It's the Department of Coffee and Social Affairs. Such a good name. It's a great name. Don't tell people what my favorite coffee shop is because <laughs> now I feel like I need to correct one you. That's not favorites. one of my favorites. I said, well, then, all right, name wise, name wise, it's one of your favorites. All right, there you name go. I, wise. I don't like to have uh, lies about my life out there on the <laughs> internet. I'm trying to put out a bunch of falsies. <laughs> yeah.